Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. Um, okay, so what's new with me? Um, Alright, so basically, guess what? I just... I did a, a, a review. I did a review video on this. Uh, TS-48. Um, and uh, I had a Toyota. I, I returned it. The reason why I returned it is... I bought a, a non a non autel sensor from autel and it doesn't program non autel sensors and i actually went online to try to find one of these tpms tools that actually can read actually can read can program it i think it'll read the sensor it just won't program it I couldn't find one that will program generic TPMS sensors. It it just absolutely boggled my mind that I could not find one. Um, I, I, I I checked, I looked, um, and uh, went through a bunch of different tools. Um, Foxwell, uh, non-autel TPMS, and uh, could not find one. So basically, I have a Toyota. I had a Toyota. I have a Toyota. I had a Toyota. I don't no longer have that other Toyota. But basically, it, this this tool, okay, will not allow you to to actually input the TPMS sensor. It, it'll it'll copy it. It'll copy the the sensor itself. It will not let you program it into your car like 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 your sensor has a certain number uh nine numbers or whatever you would need a tool that would actually let you connect to your car the toyota's computer toyota computer toyota's computer and then write that in unfortunately this doesn't do that and it does not it, it does not it, it either does not read or program or does not do both uh non uh, or tell sensors, okay? So basically, you ask me why did I just get this again? Okay, I got this again because my Prius has a a uh, TPMS light. I I uh, I'm not quite sure whether this is an air issue. I don't I don't have like one of these measurement um, tools where it measures what the PSI is of the tires. I just filled up yesterday and it's still there. So okay what this does is I, I got this I'm probably gonna keep this because I'm gonna probably just gonna need this anyway um, auto sensors um, I'm, I'm gonna guess I'll tell sensors probably like you know they're just one of those number one number two sensors um, that's out there I mean you go go anywhere and you you have to get an auto sensors the uh, non non hotel sensors probably uh, you know they're probably not uh, abundant enough to actually matter at this point because I, I was hoping for something that would read every single kind of sensors regardless of whether it's Autel or not but considering how Autel probably has the market on these TPMS sensors uh, most, of the, most of the time I'm probably going to come across a bunch of um, Autel made uh, TPMS sensors but but regardless, regardless um, the, now the reason I got this is um I have a bunch of OBD twos, and none of those OBD twos will read the uh, TPMS uh, sensors. You know what this will do is not only will program, but if you put it right next to the tire, it will read. It will read the uh, the the battery life that's that that's on that's left on the battery of the TPMS sensors, and um, it will also I think it might tell you the air pressure. I'm not quite sure, but it'll read the battery life and it'll give you the the uh, TPMS number without you taking your tire off and then you know taking get it getting to the TPMS sensor to to um, you know for that to occur. So this is why I, I I bought it again. I returned it last time, and then I, I decided, well, you know what? These uh, TPMS issues come up a lot. I really wish that you know that there was a some kind of button where you could push to just you know like like get that off the dash, and 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 like it's not really a real big issue as far as the air pressure is concerned but that light there is just absolutely annoying to me and i'm one of those people who just don't like having these lights on the dash that's not supposed to be there for whatever reason 
Um, I know what the reason is. I just it just it just, it just annoys me. So I got this specifically for that because I don't know. This is like a, this is a 2010 uh, vehicle, and I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, the TPMS battery is supposed to last for 10 years, I heard. So I'm almost positive one of them probably has an end-of-life issue as far as the uh, battery is concerned. may need to be changed out. How do you guys like my Granny Smith apples, guys? I just actually bought that. Yeah, I just mentioned it to you guys. Just just stay on with me, all right? I'm going to give you guys... Uh, I got to get another... I got I to gotta get another uh, one of these... Um, I got to get like... Um, another whatchamacallit camera where I don't have to hold it because it's just a pain in the butt holding this and, and then you know having to put it down because I need to use both hands and stuff like that but uh, this is a direct <clears throat> a direct um, uh, unpackaging unboxing or whatever that, that used to be a big thing but it's no longer a big thing these unboxing unboxings uh, videos but anyway 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 so it comes with this little donut comes with the autel tool donut autel tool it comes with a bunch of wires just a bunch of things that's not needed it comes with a manual um like i said last time i showed you guys this last time it's very um easy to use you don't need a manual for it uh that's the push button for the on button and uh, toolkit, you got TPMS, toolkit, latest test, and my device. Uh, basically, let me see what this does as far as TPMS is concerned. Right, okay, you got to press yes. All right. Um, so basically, All right, so I'm gonna choose my car. I'm gonna choose my, tr uh, wait, it's a Prius. I got like two cars right now, but it's a Prius. I'm gonna need this for my other Highlander I, I bought, so um, so it's a Prius. I don't know what a Prius C is, a Prius Prime. What is the hell is a Prius 5, man? Anyway, um, it's a 2010 Prius. I'm gonna say it's a 2010 Prius. Uh, 2009, 2012, all of these. Tonight, 2019. That's the 2006 to 2012. All right, I could choose any of these, right? So basically, yes. Scan all sensors. Scan single sensors. Uh, program sensor relearn procedure. Let me see this. So basically, all right, I'm going to show you guys right now how this is done. How this is done. So it's telling me to go to... Um, it was real fast last time, right? So it's telling me to go to this sensor on the driver's side, press to trigger. I'm gonna trigger it. It was real fast last time. You gotta have it on, like very close to it. Um, it's receiving the data. Last time I was like very, very fast. Why is it so slow? <clears throat> It should have had it this by now, right? It should have had this by now, to be honest with you. Like, like I think I might just need to put this there, there. So, that that was good. Uh, let me just move on to the second one. It's telling me the battery on that one is very low. Uh, so... 3525 um let's see what this does so basically if the battery is low it'll tell you um it, it'll be slow to pick it up obviously that other one where the battery was was good it picked up real good so so this battery might be bad on this side too, probably. 
Um, I'm gonna let you guys know I'm not a fan of the TPMS system. Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad, you know, I, I like it that it's there, but to be honest with you, they should uh, actually have like this little turn off switch where you could actually turn off the light on, 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 the, uh, on the dash. But uh, this might be dead actually, considering how, how slow this is to pick this up, huh? Anyway, um, nope, cannot pick that up. That's probably dead. I'm almost. I'm gonna assume that that's dead. Um, um, you know what? I uh, I don't think that was actually correct. 225, 235, 212. Man, it's a cold day, man. I don't want to be waiting out here just to, you know. Holy crap, it's slow. All right, so it says double ID because I actually sw I switched it and I, I popped it in, but but uh, this one's no good. This one right here is uh, that one's no good. It says duplicate ID because I actually went to the other side and uh, while this was doing still doing that, and I pressed it, but. I think the battery is just absolutely dead from this side, on this side right here. That's probably the reason. It's not going to pick this one up. I don't think. I'm going to need at least two TPMS and swap to swap it out. Pretty sure I'm going to need at least two TPMS to swap out. I don't even think it's going to pick this up seeing as how long it's, it's, it's actually... Uh, So this is real time guys, real time, um, actually I just took it out of the box and, 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 and actually played with this, but it's not even really that. So basically I think the battery is dead on that. Um, as far as, as far as, uh, let me see, so that's good. So that's good. I got I got one dead, one with very low, um, and uh, the other one. This is cold, guys. I don't want to just. Holy crap! It's cold. Anyway, um, uh, let me just, just get out of here. Okay, so so. Let me see if I could do that. I yeah. Okay. So basically, it won't actually program your computer. I know because uh, it won't. It'll, it'll let you. What it does is it'll let you program the new one and then copy it or something like that. But it won't actually. If you have a Toyota, you would actually need a, a scanner plug it into the OBD2 port and then actually write it into the the you know the, the computer but um in any case in any case um toolkit Here's the thing about it. It doesn't even... I don't think it actually told me what the TPMS number is. And I would actually need that.
Oh, sensor information. Let me see if I sensor information is um. All right, guys. I'm gonna do a sensor information test. So sensor information will tell you what the number of the sensor is. It's just a cold day out here. Um, let me see. No. Uh, yes. So MX is a uh, Autel, and um, I think this is these are OEM sensors. So, um, so basically, it does tell you, um, you know, it does tell you. I mean, it does tell you the information on. So basically, if you guys, it'll tell you the information. It'll do like pretty much uh, a lot of things. Um, enough things where you don't, you know, need, I mean, aside from programming in, it into your car's computer, um, it does a lot of things. It'll tell you what the frequency, uh, learn type, part number, number on sensor. It'll tell you all that stuff. If you guys actually need to, um, you know, use that information to program, if you guys swapped out tires or whatever, and the computer's not picking up the new sensors and you guys need like a, a tool to, you know, pick up whatever the numbers on the sensors are and then write it into the computer, which is what I need for the, for my other car. For this car, I just need to check to see, you know, what the deal is as far as the, um, uh, what the deal is as far as, you know, you know, whether the battery is, what, what, what kind of life is on the left in the battery and stuff like that. But it does what it does. Let me see what, it, whether I could actually, so, good thing about this is it actually comes at 100%. You know, it comes at 100%. So, anyway, that's the uh, latest test. My device pretty much lets you do settings on your device. Uh, update. You can update um, settings. You know, how you want to reconfigure reconf your... Um, let me see what update. Visit the website. Come on and download PC Suite. I guess you got to do it on your computer. Um, as far as the setting is concerned um you know market language etc etc you know units and stuff like that it's just to configure um about kind of tells you what this does so it's pretty simple so you got tpms which is what i did to start off this video um two kit uh which is uh, rke and rf monitor um i don't know what that is i don't think i i would ever need that latest test like i said and so you got one two three four four features on this and uh tpms is not really a difficult like there's really not too much that's complicated with that and uh as far as this donut is concerned as far as this donut is concerned um i think i might know what that's for uh relearn tire pressure sensor relearn magnet um yeah um i don't know a hundred percent of what that's about and uh i don't actually think i need it for my own personal use at this point but um let me just take this off you guys so let me just take this off you guys as far as you know this is a skin because i don't actually see uh, I don't see, I don't see, you know, it's supposed to be rubber. I think it's supposed to be waterproof or some, something like that. It's charged up at 100%. Um, as far as the, I don't know, you can charge it, charge it up by doing um, USB charging or something like that. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's one of these older types of USB, uh, the larger USB ports that you can charge it up. So you can actually use uh, this, so you can charge it up differently. Now, you can charge it up from USB or something like that, but, um, but that's all I got right now, guys. Um, I uh, hope this is, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hope you guys hope this has helped you guys out in your decision on what to do as far as getting uh, one of these tools.
obviously that's why you guys are watching this video I mean why would you guys why else would you guys watch this video uh, for any other purpose um, unless you guys like hearing me talk um, but anyway anyway uh, what's next um, all right so that's all I got uh, you guys want to leave a uh, um, um, guys want to leave like some kind of comment a comment section please do um, I always enjoy hearing your comments, negative, positive. It really doesn't matter to me. Um, I really don't care as long as you guys leave a comment. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. You guys know you guys want to give me a thumbs up. All right, don't lie to yourselves. You guys know you guys want to give me a thumbs up. And uh, let me turn this off. And uh, please uh, subscribe, guys. So if you just press it long enough, it'll just go off by itself. So I'm probably going to keep this. Uh, I'm going to give it a thumbs up, um, and uh, this is the, my end of the review, I'm just going to give you guys what, tell you, oh, oh, there it is, there it is, um, <laughs> I was going to take that off, but uh, anyway, this is the end of the review, and I'm just going to tell you guys why I approve of this, I approve of this because I've actually looked at a whole bunch of other uh, sensors out there, checked to see what they have, you know, the price range and stuff like that. And uh, to be honest with you, this was probably the best um, that I came up with out of all the price ranges for what it does. So, Autel TS-408, thumbs up to you guys um, and uh, all that good stuff. All right, guys. Stay tuned for my other videos, all the other stuff that I put up. All right, thumbs up, guys.